Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another day and more Black Friday market crash, more prices moving down. And even right now as we're recording this into rewards, we are seeing some very interesting movements with a few cards getting sold off. But I want to take a look at this market again. And as we saw, some prices stay kind of stagnant as well yesterday. Just continue to talk about things that we might see today. And also expecting another base icon upgrade based on the pattern that we have seen with the hero upgrades. Uh, again, the hero upgrade was first released on Friday. It was released for two days. It expired. They re-released it. Now it is available for five days. What I imagine is that today on Monday as well, they are going to re-release the base icon that expires uh, today at Content Drop. They're going to re-release this for four days. Basically, the base icon and the Foot Hero upgrade might expire at the same time because I think this goes until Thursday at 6 p.m. I believe it's five days. Sounds about right. Maybe it's, I don't know if it's like four days and whatever hours around it up or if it's actually five days and this is going to be out until Friday. I don't know what the if it's five days and whatever hours. We'll see you later on today, but either Thursday or Friday for this, I think the base icon will be expiring at the same time. But it does look like it is going to be re-upped today on this game, and that's probably going to impact the market a little bit again. Um, again, yesterday, kind of just the feeling on the market is still that a lot of stuff is just really, it's really just dead. Like, I mean, yeah, you have prices that are fluctuating up and down. But it's basically when you have these prices fluctuating, it's basically just people panic selling in different periods, right? Like right now, we have a pretty low fluctuation on Vinny Jr.'s second inform. Uh, I mean, this guy was like two, he's like 280 right now, which is really low for this card. He's been kind of hovering around 300,000 coins. But I think people are, are again starting to think, hey, Black Friday, best of team of the week. So they're sh starting to sell some of these cards. Yeah, Vinny's sitting at 280 right there. Um, so some people are, are buying these cards to flip. I actually bought a couple first informed Vinnies uh, on the late live stream last night for 100 and like 149, I think is what I paid for him. Because, uh, you know, this Vinny card has been bouncing around a lot and he's a team of the week one item. Well, I don't like this. There's cards sitting at 13 seconds left at 154. All right, I got to get into the more. I think I bought two at like 149, but I need to get in, in the lower 140s because if they're sitting at 152 for an hour, I don't want to mess with that. But this card's really rare and he keeps moving around the market. So that's why I'm trying a, maybe a few bit of buys on him. But today's an interesting day as we head into Monday because Monday, of course, Foot Champions rewards this morning. Yesterday on Sunday morning, with nobody buying cards and everybody being scared of all the panic, we actually saw some cards go up. Take a look at Yemen and Son, 58,000 coins all the way to 68,000 coins on the PlayStation. Then, of course, dropped back off yesterday on Sunday uh, with more panic selling and more, uh, you know, stuff like that. A normal market crash kind of Sunday right there. But if you take a look again, there's a couple other cards that did well too. Kempembe went from like 25,000 coins up to about 30K. I don't know if Hakimi moved. I'm guessing that he did. Hakimi went from 55 to 61. So a little bit of a movement there. Um, Arquinhos, I think, moved a little bit. I think Van Dyke potentially moved. So some of those golds yesterday, uh, they kind of they kind of rose up after awards. And, you know, you might see that same movement today. Again, Klosterman's a car that we've been talking about trading with. Last night, he was 130 lows. Rose back up into the 150s. Now, we don't have the weekend league demand that we did have over this weekend. And we have a lot of people. Basically, what is going to happen this week the first couple days is people are finishing off their weekend leagues and they're going to go and get involved with these objectives. If they have not done the objectives already, uh, people can't say no to free cards and it's the first objectives of the year. So I think a lot of people are doing these, uh, especially the ones that we got yesterday with the Liga Portugal, the Uribe. I think people are going to be going out and doing these cards if they have not already. And that means less demand for players like Klosterman, for players like Mbappe, Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar on the market. That means less demand for them. So with a base icon probably coming today, and I mean, although that SBC is like, yeah, who's really going to do that SBC right now? Some people are going to do it just because it is there and they like to gamble and they maybe have a lot of coins to do it. Fodder is stupid expensive. And if I'm being completely honest, we'll talk about fodder in a second too. I think we might be nearing a sell time before a lot of the pack spam comes later this weekend. So we'll talk about that as well. But I think a lot of people are going to get involved with these. The Openda, the the squad foundations and then the friendlies for like maybe macintosh but more so the friendlies for your rebate right and there's a lot of crazy movements that have happened with some of these porto cards uh you have an extinct luis diaz right now uh you have a corona card that was very invested in right you guys saw this corona right this dude was seventy thousand coins on the market he was pumped up 
very, very, very overinvested in. If you sold in the hype, there was great profit to be made here. You could have bought him like 50,000 coins and sold this dude at about 70K. Now, right now, he's actually risen back up a little bit. And I wonder if this is people investing in his card again um, or if it's actually people buying this card up and, and linking him. But he's back up to 63. So he went like he went from like 40K last week up to 71K yesterday at his peak right before the content. And then he went back down to about 50 and now he's back up to 62. So GG's if you bought in on the, on the second dip after everybody um, panic sold, uh, he's back up again at about 62, 63K. But I think that's where a lot of the focus is gonna be. And when you have the focus in those areas of the market, like what real market rise are you gonna see except for maybe some people that are going out and buying some cards and maybe investing in a few things because they think that it's too low. But with more coin train coming today, we still have not seen that team of the week SBC dropped in the game yet. Of course, as you saw in the code, Mondays are days for upgrade packs. So one thing that I might expect to see today on this game is an 81 plus double or the team of the week upgrade SBC. Those could be as go those could be dropped as early as today and they could be out for like a whole week and kind of ride through the weekend because last year the best of team of the week was only in packs until like Monday or something like that. So that might give us a little bit of a, maybe a little bit of an informational, I guess, kind of like a sneak peek ahead of time if we get upgrade packs today and how long those are out for might give us a time frame on how long they plan to run this Black Friday promo when it drops on Friday. And also, EA has dropped loading screens on Mondays before. So I don't know how they're, I don't know. Again, it's just a lot, there's a lot of unknowns. There's so many unknowns in a big week like this when we're expecting this crazy amount of content and packs and SBCs and objectives and stuff. They could drop a loading screen anytime this week. So starting today, going forward, loading screen, the team of the week upgrade pack, the 81 plus upgrades, um, that's all stuff that we could expect at any time coming soon. So just kind of wanted to point that out as well. Some of you guys have invested in 83s and stuff like that. Uh, Fodder moved a little bit yesterday because this card looks kind of decent. A French striker for, you know, not that bad of a price. I think this card's getting a lot of thumbs up on Footbin. 65,000 coins for, for this card. I think it's like the, the, the SBCs to do this are pretty easy. 83, 84 with two team of the week players is not bad, which is why some of those 84s rose up in price 83s are up a little bit as well uh but 2600 upvotes people kind of like that card kind of like isak vibes i'm hearing a lot from him and then this uribe objective as we mentioned as well hold it gang in objectives uh with some of those porto links is a pretty big w but sbc fodder the way that it looks right now at the moment it's absurdly high it's so crazy high 89s are 45 to 46k a pop 88s are 35,000 coins your 86s are 17k but the real place where you saw that market rise again yesterday because of that Bonza SBC and another Foot Hero upgrade were the 84s. The 84s really took off. Uh, they peaked like right after the SBC. You might see Fodder kind of jump up again today, especially if there is a Team of the Week upgrade released. Because what you might see is people, uh, they might not do this yet, but people will stack those Team of the Week upgrades if they're not that expensive. Especially if 83s go back down to about you know 850 coins at discard, which with basically discard people will start to stack those maybe not right away when the fodder is high but this might be one of your last days of this week if you still have fodder in your club that you might want to sell and what is going to happen is you might start to see fodder we talked about this on the uh the stream just a little bit ago as well as this fodder is very high it's very inflated people are knowing that pack supply is coming and they're not going to want to hold this stuff for later on in the week when tons of packs are going to be opened. So you might see fodder later on this week actually dip off a little bit into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, especially if we get preview packs, which is still a potential out there, right? EA could drop the market anytime again with preview packs. I feel like they might not do that until we actually get to later on in the week. But who knows? Uh, so if you have fodder, I think a sell time, like there's literally not been a better sell time than right now on this game for SBC fodder of literally all types. 84s are kind of the highest that they've been this year, like almost 4K a pop. 85s are 9,000 coins, almost 10K. 86s are 17. So it's a really good time to be selling that fodder uh, on this market and on this game. And again, it, it really, I know a lot of you guys are wanting to know when's the buy time, when's gonna be the lowest. I still think that some of these cards can drop lower, even the cards that are out of packs, uh, specials, right? Keep an eye on your road to the knockouts because those there's Champions League games coming up this week as well. That's going to be something we'll have to talk about. Uh, but you know, some of these cards like Militao, you can't tell me that this Eder Militao card 
who was, you know, 380k in packs at his lowest point. He's only down like 20k. That's, I mean, he's really not down at all. I mean, I just feel like this card specifically needs to drop some more. I think Jota needs to drop a little bit more, in my opinion. Uh, Der Stegen has not moved. Regulon has not moved. And you've seen some of the lower tier cards actually go up, right? Like this Dembele, the Rice, Reina, Deli Ali. Some of those lower tier uh, cards have started to rise up. Some of these other upper tier cards, Alfonso Davies is down from what? What was his max? He was like, what, 214? No, he wasn't even. He was like 200,000 coins. And he's down at 183. Like, that's really, that's not like that big of a drop off for what we normally see for a Black Friday crash. I still think there's some crashing to happen on some of these cards. Like, I still think that you could see prices go lower later on this week. Uh, but I think you see a lot of people are selling the informs in preparation for uh, the best of team of the week and stuff like that. So, I still think that there's going to be ways where you can dip in and out of this market. The more rare, the card is the better. Like this Holland is 470 again. It's getting kind of low. Icons you can dip in and out of. Again, I do like these road to the knockouts because uh, some, wow, Marquinhos 860. The hype is going to kind of return to a few of these cards, especially as we get into this week. Uh, and, you know, you're going to probably see people that have coins, right? Because other people right now in this game that are doing SBCs that maybe are selling their fodder and they're making a bank right now. You're going to probably see some people go out on the market and invest in a few of these before their games or ones to watches as well. I'm hearing that some ones to watch cards have absolutely flown up in price recently um, because of games that are happening happening this coming weekend still and stuff like that. So keep an eye on these road to the knockouts for real. Like I was looking at Sané. Um, of course, these cards are going to be potentially clinching um the spots in the knockout stage depending on if they're depending on their games this week now i really don't think that ea is going to upgrade these cards this week i think it's going to be later on in december when like the the knockout stages are set because some teams have technically already clinched um like their position in the knockout round and they haven't been upgraded yet so i don't know if ea was waiting for after this match day to upgrade them if that's going to be a part of the content this weekend or uh, if that is just going to be something that we see like later on. So, you know, just keep an eye on these because like, especially Fred, right? Fred is in a very, very interesting situation at the moment where his card has been down some. He was 330 a little bit earlier. Looks like he's maybe back up. Yeah, three, 345, 330s kind of on this card. So, I mean, he was like 360, 370 and he was avoiding the market crash pretty well. But I'm keeping an eye on this card because, of course, Ole is out. Uh, and so a lot of times after a manager leaves, the team is motivated again, and maybe the team is going to be motivated, um, and come out swinging. I think they play on Tuesday. So tomorrow when we have champions league back at it again, these cards are going to be on a lot of people's minds. So that's why if you don't see, if you see some that are going to potentially get upgraded, that are pretty low, keep an eye on them at the moment for real, keep an eye on them because you might see some of those prices rising into this week as well. And uh, that's uh, that's an area of the market that I would watch early, early into this week for sure. Now, man, we keep I, I'm showing this. I looked at this money inform in, on yesterday's video. If you're trading in the market right now, you just have to find very quick flips on very rare cards and cards that show that they still have demand. Oh my goodness, five sixteen for this money inform card. That is crazy, crazy low. Now I was looking at some icons yesterday as well. I was not on the market like at all on Sunday yesterday. But just taking notice that what icons kind of move around in price, this mid uh, Hernandez went from like 420,000 coins back up to 460, 470. Again, the profits here are very small because there's still, there's like not a lot of demand, right? If you take a look at that, a lot of these cards, I bet a bunch of these, yeah, that's a trader right there. That's a trader at 470. This one's another trader. So like, I don't like this Luis Hernandez for the fact that there's like multiple cards listed overnight of people trying to flip this item, um, you know, that you can see zero games played on the current club. That means that it's probably most likely somebody that's just trading the item. So, but just kind of take notice of, again, which icons have those graphs that are up and down and all over the place. Um, and that could potentially bring some profits. This push guys was like 1.4 flat yesterday and he rose back up into the one fives. Vieira was 131, like one three flat. And right now I believe he's in the one three highs. Um, this Rooney card is kind of crazy. Both Rooney's actually the base Rooney and the mid Rooney both have crazy amount of supply. It's, it's actually kind of wild to see. So the more rare the card is, obviously the better, obviously the better for the flip. So, um, 
you know, just, just kind of take a look into that stuff across the market if you're still trying to make some coins. And I'll say this too, you can still absolutely chemistry style and position change trade, right? Like Geo Reyna was one of the best cards that I made coins off of um, last week with just position change and chem style flipping. His card's base position is center attacking mid. Uh, but especially right now on a Sunday night when people are selling off their weekend league teams, this might be a good time to look into some of this stuff, like maybe a position change to center mid. How much does this sell for? There's 31Ks and 29s there. What about like a striker, Gio Reyna? 31K, wow. So maybe that's not a good one to look at right now because like the, um, what do you call that? Like basically your profit range, there's really no profit range there because he's selling for like 29,000 coins and with a position change, there's not a lot of difference there right now. But still, you know, I do think the market could rise up on some of those goals like we talked about. You might have a little bit of a rise today. Um, you know, like Sun had a really nice one yesterday. I might try to snag a couple of him at like, if I can snag 55K on a Sun, I think that's pretty cheap. It, it just depends. It just depends on what people are going to go into today and what their motivation is. And I just don't feel like that for a lot of people on this game, the motivation today on Monday when they wake up and get into Ultimate Team is going to be to buy. I really don't think it's going to be, hey, I'm going to go out and buy cards. The only spot on the market that I could see prices kind of starting to go up would be anything that's supposed to be out of packs that isn't expected to be in best of team of the week. This Mbappe continues to chill, to chill around 1.2. He was 1.2 flat a couple hours ago. Uh, and the inform Mbappe was 2 mil flat yesterday, right? I think he's, yeah, he's still right around 2 mil flat. We talked about it yesterday too. I said this card is going to go under 2 million coins and he is literally teetering right on the edge. He is going to get under that 2 million coin range. So again, I know it just seems crazy to like not know what to do right now in this market as a lot of prices are kind of slipping downwards. Um, you know, they have, you have all these different types of cards with the out of pack specials, with the impacts golds that are expected to get supplied so much in the next couple of days. But I honestly think that you just maybe try to dip in and dip out on some of these uh, fluctuations if you want to really investing right now. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of really investing in anything right now at the moment. I mean, the only thing that I would really look into is quick flipping with some of these cards uh, that are rare that you've seen movements on. Uh, like Varan supposedly was pretty low tonight. The ones to watch are Varan. These OTWs are very rare. He was 435K. Now, part of this drop-off is factored in that he can't get the wins to watch upgrade, but he is still a live item. Uh, and he hit four, let's see. Yesterday, he went to four... 343 peaked at 377 and he hit 370 twice and on saturday he went down to 355 then went back up to 370 so like if i saw and right now he's up at 370 so if i saw this of ron at like 330 or like 335 i would look at that card for a flip and right we even mentioned in yesterday's video too that Di maria right this Di maria item 220,000 coins you could have bought this last night at like two teens yeah two 218 right there boom 218 you could have got this Di maria multiple times even right here and then he went back up to 240 basically two times throughout the day yesterday so find these kind of rare cards the numbers up items are honestly really rare um they will probably have some nice fluctuations on the ones that will get panic sold so keep an eye on those as well but to be completely honest we're just kind of sitting back especially for today i really feel like that objective grind is where a lot of people are going to be they're going to be trying to get some safe cards some untradeables uh, even some people are do are maybe doing those uh, objectives for SBC fodder and like crafting base icon upgrades. So I'm not going to be taking part in those base icon upgrades. No way. Wow, 146, 147 for Vinny. That's really cheap. And the fact that that makes this card so interesting, and I think why he fluctuates a lot on this game too. I mean, 145. I'm gonna have to snag that. This is a team of the week one in for him. So he did not have any weekend league. Team of the Week pack supply. Now, I know that the second in form is continually dropping in price, and, and that is what makes this one a little bit scary as well because you have the second in form kind of like weighing down on the first in form uh, and just the potential that this card being in packs again, 280 at the moment still for this Vinny second in form. So that's where this, I guess you could say, a little bit of the fear is with this Vinny card. But this is, this is a card that people are going to buy back after Black Friday, right? I mean... Yes, we talk about a market rise for Black Friday. It's just it's just not here yet. We are still in the time where people are worried and panicking and, and waiting to see what's going to come this week later on before they're going to start to kind of flip the switch and think about buying cards, in my opinion. So seriously, just keep monitoring this market. Like, um, 
you're going to see some crazy cards and probably drop again today. I'm really curious to even see if the market rises with weekly rewards. Since the market rose a little bit yesterday, ooh, Foden. Foden was 300K flat. What's he right now? A 329. So there's a, there's an, another card that you might be able to flip, right? This Phil Foden was 300 flat, and now he is 325, right? There's about 10K profit in a flip right there, 329, if you can get that sale. So there's another fluctuation that you might be able to play with on a card on this market. So uh, just, again, if you're making any sort of flips right now, like I looked at that Mane at 516, and that was so cheap, it's got to be fast. Your, your flips right now, your trading on this game has got to be lickety split quick to try to get those quick coins as fast as you can. If I saw this at 500K, 515, man, I mean that. This 25,000 coins attacks on this Mane. He's scared to be in best of team of the week, and he could have a potential inform this week as well. That's actually a common question that, I, that I've gotten is, can cards be in best of team of the week and the current team of the week, or how does that work? There will be a team of the week 10 that drops this Wednesday like normal, and then there will also be a best of team of the week that kind of works as like a promo team. So, I mean, I got to see this money at like 500K. I think there's a little bit of panic here still because people think he might get a legit inform in team of week 10. So that's maybe something to stay away from, I guess, at the moment. But I'm going to keep an eye on that. I'm really just curious to see if any switches flip this week, or at least in the next day, to see if this market does start to rise, but I, I just don't see it, right? I got a couple Salahs, I got a couple Vinnies, the 145, and then I have a couple back here. I did buy a Keen at 279 on a Snipe, and I think he's just dropping even lower still, which is kind of crazy. It's just a mixed bag right now in this game. You make some coins, you lose a few here and there, trying to flip these cards. How much is Robbie Keen? 293 expiring. Wow, this guy's dropping so much tonight. 270? 271! My goodness, man, this guy was like 300K. He's down 40K from yesterday. So again, I think that this market is still keeping, is still gonna keep going down, uh, at least for the next day. We're gonna get more objective cards on Tuesday, which is maybe gonna pull some more people away from the meta and stuff like that and getting into some cards where they might be able to add some untradables to their club via those objectives. So even more cards are gonna come out on Tuesday. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that too, but it's just, it's crazy times. It's crazy times in this market right now. And this week's going to tell us a lot as we get in towards the end of the week, but at least for right now, it's just, uh, it's a madness and it's crazy. And it's going to continue to be that way. Cause I really see no way this week that the market bounces back a lot, unless for some reason, black Friday is going to be a letdown, which I see like literally a 0% chance of that happening in this game this year. And the amount of FIFA points that EA know they can sell in this game this year. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about the market at the moment in this game. Very curious to see if we have any sort of rewards rise today. I'm going to buy a few cards, see if it works, see if it doesn't work. We're going to risk it, right? Because you can't make coins if you don't spend any coins. But that's kind of what's going on with this market at the moment and what's going on with the Black Friday market crash. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nathan Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.